I move to nominate Chief Sean Barnes, Chief Angel Novales, and Chief Larry Snelling for the position of the Superintendent of Chicago Police Department. One step closer, we have reached the final stage of the search for Chicago's next top cop. Tia Ewing is live with what unfolded at tonight's meeting in Englewood. Well, you said it, Don. We are in Inglewood, right in the heart of Inglewood, actually, off of 63rd and Halston, right in front of Kennedy King College, where this decision came down tonight. There's been seven public forums, 54 applicants narrowed down to 13, then six, and now three. And we've learned a little bit more about who's vying to be Chicago's next top cop. Two of these now finalists work with the Chicago Police Department, and one is an outsider. Two finalists with CPD have extensive history with the department. Angel Novales is chief of the Office of Constitutional Policing and Reform, tasked with making sure CPD follows the consent decree. He's been with the force more than 20 years. Back in the early 2000s, he took a bullet on the job as a patrolman. Larry Snelling is chief over counterterrorism, with more than 30 years with the department. Also, he served as commander of the Inglewood District. Head of the Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 7 says both are exceptional candidates. Ariana Preston's murder and Andres Vasquez. That's the worst moment for anybody in the police department is when one of our officers die in the line of duty. And at both of those scenes, at the morgue, at the hospital, Larry Snelling was the only exempt rank member to take the lead, come out and talk to the troops and explain to them what's going on. That doesn't mean that Chief Navalis isn't qualified to do the job either. He's clearly been doing it for a long time. One issue that did come up is Sean Barnes. Would he be seen as an outsider? Even though the Madison, Wisconsin chief had a brief stint as director of training and development with the Civilian Office of Police Accountability. The Community Commission of Public Safety says he isn't an outsider. He knows the city. Um, his wife is a, a dean at DePaul. Um, he frequents the city a lot. Um, he has worked in the city of Chicago. Um, he, he knows our neighborhood, so I don't personally view him, and I'm speaking for myself. Other commissioners can feel free to chime in as someone for, who, for, who is from the outside. The FOP president says members of CPD would not be receptive to Mayor Brandon Johnson selecting Barnes. Gary McCarthy wasn't exactly the greatest superintendent we ever had. Jody Weiss did some good things but did some bad things. Outsiders generally don't survive it. Well, let's talk a little bit about Mayor Brandon Johnson. Come Saturday, that will mark 60 days that he's actually been in office. And it's no doubt about it, this will be one of the toughest decisions he'll have to make so far. So what is the next phase of this process? Johnson will get those three names. He has 30 days to make a selection. And then after that, that's when city council has 60 days to confirm his decision. Now, it could happen. Uh, many don't believe that it will, but Brandon Johnson could reject these three finalists and the entire process would then start over. Live from Inglewood tonight, Tia Ewing, Fox 32 Chicago.